Hey guys, welcome back. It's Tom B from BeWise Outdoors. And today's a beautiful day. It's early February. It's about 74 degrees. Uh, we've had a couple of nice days. So I'm going to grab the fly rod and go out and see if we can't catch a couple of fish in our local pond. Come on, let's go. Alright guys, this is the fly I'm using. It's an olive woolly bugger uh, with a bead head. I've had it in the water uh, for a couple of casts. So just want to show you what we're using today to catch these fish. The battery died on the GoPro, but you can see I got one here on the woolly bugger. So let's get this out of his mouth. All right, there he is, a nice little crappie. Let's let him go. There he goes. I ended up going back and charging the GoPro and then coming out to the lake. Unfortunately, what I didn't realize was I had a pair of clippers that kept banging into the GoPro, causing a really loud noise that took away from the sound quality. So I'm having to voice over uh, the rest of these videos. But I've got a fish on, uh, crappie, and uh, what I've done here is, if you noticed a little bit earlier, and I'll show a better video coming up, I'm using a six to eight inch retrieve at a relatively fast pace. And I experimented um, when I first came out to the lake using a, a slow retrieve. I thought the water would be cold because it is winter. And so I was using a slow and long retrieve. So I was pulling the line uh, anywhere from 12 to 18 inches, uh, really slow and then pausing, really slow and pausing. Um, and I, I didn't end up catching anything. Then I switched to a faster retrieve and all of a sudden I started catching a lot of fish. Um, so there's a, this is a really nice crappie, very typical for this lake. And we're going to release them here. And here's that, uh, that shot I was talking about earlier. So this is the retrieve I'm using and I caught every fish using this retrieve right here. So it's a, again, a six to eight inch at a relatively fast pace and uh, that's where I had all of my success but I did try other retrieves you'll see one thing at the end you want to fish your fly all the way to the end uh, to the edge of the weeds and so you saw me shake the rod and that's lifting the fly up towards the surface of the water and also bringing it right to the e edge of the weeds and I actually ended up catching uh, quite a few fish there but most of the fish I caught were probably 15 feet out from the weed bed, similar to where this one is in the video. Um, they were just holding out there. There's a pretty good drop off at this particular part. And so um, they were suspended there probably, you know, because we had a couple nice uh, warm days and uh, so they were there feeding. But uh, here's another really nice one. Um, Another nice crappie. And I ended up losing that uh, olive woolly bugger and switching to a brown one. But because I kept uh, consistent in size and also retrieve, I really didn't notice a difference in the amount of fish I caught. Another really nice uh, crappie there. Let him go. All right, so uh, a little bit more time has passed. I've gone up and down and kind of come back to where I've caught the uh, majority of the fish today. Um, so I'm I'm back up at the spot but I have traveled and so one thing I will tell you is don't do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result that because that's the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again expecting something different so like I said when I first got to the lake I fished a very slow retrieve I switched because it wasn't working and started catching fish um, this spot I ended up catching quite a few fish and uh, then it kind of shut down so I walked away and fished a different area and then I came back and started catching again so just experiment with your location experiment with uh, the type of retrieve you're doing and uh, just be flexible and, and willing to try new things I mean it, it is a learning process another really nice crappie there all right, so this was the largest fish I caught for the day. A really, really nice one. Put up a really good fight. Um, here's a few more coming up. Anyhow, guys, I hope you learned something uh, from this video that's going to help you out. Um, if, you, if you did and you enjoyed it, uh, leave a comment down below. Um, hit that subscribe button. 
and stay tuned for some more videos coming up. I really appreciate you guys watching. Take care and uh, good luck fishing.